In the finale of Star Wars Rebels, Ahsoka appeared to Sabine Wren on Lothal, and the two of them set off to go and find their friend Ezra, who was launched into hyperspace with Grand Admiral Thrawn. Visually, Ahsoka looked older, with a white cloak and a large staff, but with the recent release of The Mandalorian Season 2, and with the upcoming Ahsoka series looming, it's been suggested that this scene in the Star Wars Rebels finale actually takes place after Chapter 13 of The Mandalorian, where Ahsoka confronts Morgan Ellsberg for information on Thrawn's whereabouts. This chronological ordering makes a lot of sense and would explain why Ahsoka looks much older in the rebel scene. Perhaps Morgan Ellsberth, who we never actually saw die but was held at Saber Point, revealed what she knew to Ahsoka and then with that knowledge, once Grogu and Din departed Corvus, Ahsoka got back in contact with Sabine Wren and the two of them set off on their mission. This is something we could even see in the Ahsoka series now that Sabine Wren has been cast. In other words, we may get a live action version of this iconic moment. But in that final shot, Ahsoka's outfit is very different. She almost looks like Gandalf, as many fans like to joke. She is sporting majestic white robes that are nothing like her Corvus attire or anything we've seen her wear before. But in an interview a couple of years ago, Dave Filoni made it clear that future stories with Ahsoka are going to explain this. And there was a plan for them all along. When asked about this, Dave Filoni indicated that there are things he cannot divulge just yet, but teased that we should keep a close eye on future stories. On the specific subject of the white robes, he said her entire look is important, very important. It's specific to her journey prior to seeing her at the end of Rebels. I won't go into too much detail about that, because in my mind, some of those things, while I understand the general path of it, I don't understand the specific details. But that was a few years ago, and based on the recent interview with Empire Magazine, we know that he's currently writing the series. And if you remember in that piece which I covered in a news update a couple of days ago, he described the writing process of the Ahsoka series as thrilling. So it's pretty safe to assume that this is something the series is going to explain. In a previous interview about Star Wars Rebels, Filoni added, I designed it a certain way, with art director Killian Plunkett. People are already trying to guess, is it just a staff? Is it some kind of saber staff? That would be exciting, but you'll just have to see. Some fans have speculated that Ahsoka is wearing those robes to show that she has become more in tune with the Force, more so than ever before, especially with her experience and wisdom. While it's not confirmed if she ever re-established herself as a Jedi, since leaving the Order many years ago, it was always a possibility that the robes represent a broader personal adaptation of the Force. The true reason is yet to be witnessed in the Ahsoka series, but answers are coming. And what is reassuring and clear is that Dave Filoni has a plan to explain it, and we are in for something truly special in the Ahsoka series. This is the way. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But otherwise, I'm Star Wars Meg. May the Force be with you always.